Okay, guys. I'm back at it again. Mm. Right there, close up. I said, what the hell are you doing here? I heard you, sugar. <laughs> I was just hoping you'd be happier to see me. What on God's green earth made you think I'd be happy to see you? <laughs> Wait to crush a guy's soul. Hmm. Ah. Um, I just saw you get dropped off by that boy. I thought I told you don't. I don't like to share my toys. I'm not your toy, Jordan. That's not what you were saying when you were moaning in my ear a few months ago. Bitch. I always knew you liked it rough, but damn, girl. That hurt. What the hell do you want, Jordan? I found what you were looking for. You kept looking? That's why you hired me. That's what you hired me to do, is it not? Um, I should explain. Jordan and I met a few years back, but he was in the same group home that I was in in Riverdale. We quickly became friends, and he taught me all about life in the group homes, how to sneak out, how to break a few rules, and not get caught. I've had a troubled life, remember? Anyway, eventually I was sent to a different foster home. Uh oh. Um, and didn't see Jordan for two years until last summer. I was 16 and working as a bartender, obviously lying about my age and identity. I had just run away from my third foster family and needed to, some, uh, to make some cash. I knew that I couldn't keep up the charade forever and planned on making a fast getaway. I was going to Florida. It was the last place I knew my mother was. After I turned 12 and after I turned 12 and was placed in my fourth group home, I finally had access to the internet. It was only 20 minutes a day and it was always supervised, but I found a way around it. I looked up my mother's name and found a court record um, from a speeding ticket. She apparently fought the judge over it, cared more about a speeding ticket than her own daughter. That's when I decided I needed to confront her. I needed to know why she left me. Can I get you to anything else? We're good, sugar. What the hell is up with this sugar thing? I think we're going to go dance. Sugar. I like that nickname. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> oh, is that what she was telling people her name was? Sugar? <laughs> what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in forever. You didn't think I forgot about my favorite girl, did you? You better not have. Get over here and hug me. What are you waiting for? How did you know I was here? You know how I operate, sugar. Is this going to be a thing now? You know it. Right after I left Riverdale, Jordan and I ran away. He couldn't handle being locked around, knocked around from room to room at every foster home he went to. Apparently, that life wasn't for anyone. He had to get out. Jordan was a computer whiz and self-taught himself hacking program. Well, hacking computer programming. And hell of a lot more. All of which illegal. I didn't know at the time that his skills would be useful to me. Excuse me, miss. 
I've been waiting for my drink for five minutes. Well, for over five minutes. I'm sorry, I'll get it right. All you bitches are dumb as hell. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? You heard me. I'm sorry I didn't realize that the theme of this bar was bring the sluts. Hmm. The guy had no idea he was messing. The guy had no idea. That guy had no idea who he was messing with. That he was messing with two foster kids with street skills and mafia leaders. I really didn't want to hurt anyone tonight. What are you going to do, punk? Bitch. Okay. I get the hell out of here and don't ever come back. Okay. Uh, I've never had anyone punch a guy out for me before. Mm. All in a day's work, sugar. I'm not going to lie. I found that extremely sexy. Mm -mm. Jordan getting all worked up and protective over me. It was getting me all hot and bothered to the point where I couldn't control myself anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. What time is your ship over? It can be over now. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, girl. What? It's not like I plan to come back anyway. <laughs> nice room you get here, Jay. Shit, dirty as fuck. We all we can't all be fancy bartender stuff. <laughs> now where were we? Where were we? The next morning. Damn girl, that was a workout. <clears throat> I'm going to need a favor from you. Uh, we can go again, babe, but I'm going to need some sports drinks. With these <coughs> electrolytes up. Not that kind of favor, you dope. Um, it's more of a computer variety. Well, that's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. I asked Jordan if he could find my mother. She had an extremely hard trail to follow, and the only lead I had on her was a speeding ticket from six years ago. He agreed. Well, if I'm going to do all that, I'm going to need something from you first. Jordan and I dated for a while after that. We end up, we even end up, ended up living together for months. Um, eventually, f we found out that we were no good for each other. <laughs> when you when you fight fire with fire, someone's going to get burned, and you're going to end up taking every everything down with you. What did you find out? All I know is that she is that she charged her name. I mean, changed her name to what? I don't know exactly. But okay, you're really gonna have to stop slapping me now. Slap him again, bitch. Why would you come all the way here, break into my foster house, and get on my last goddamn nerve just to tell me that she changed her name, but you have no idea what it is, girl? Because it's a leave, Dove. It's the first one I, we've gotten in months. Sue me for thinking you'd be excited. How do you know she changed her name? While I was down in Alabama, I found a guy who recognized a photo of your mother, but not, but not her name. So she's not Elizabeth Kennedy anymore. It appears not. My mother was officially has officially cut all ties with me. <sighs> she has basically gone off the grid and got rid of her name, Kennedy. Well, get rid of the name, Kennedy. The only thing that made me feel connected to her, I didn't have my father's last name like most kids do. My mother made sure I had her last name. And still have no idea why. Maybe she had to do it for legal reasons. He was trying to cheer me up. It wasn't working. You should go. Don't be like that, Dove. I know how you get when you're trying to hide your feelings. You can't hide from me, remember? 
I'll call you if I find out anything. Um, you don't have my number. Yes, I do, sugar. Later. Guess that solves the case of the mystery, the mysterious sex. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. The next morning. There's something I can help you with, Jill. As a matter of fact, there is. Mm. How would you like the opportunity to sit with the coolest people in the school at lunch today? I'm getting some serious mean girl vibes right now. I'm not interested, Jill. Come on, though. Don't miss out on your opportunity to become popular for once in your life, I'm guessing, anyway. Can I tell you a secret? Of course, I love secrets. I don't care about being popular, Jill. I know it's shocking. Don't panic. Later. I tried to talk to her. She wasn't interested in hanging out with us. Why are we so hung up on getting her to be your friend? My father told me to. Sean. When have you ever listened to anything your father has told you to do? Is there something going on between you two? What? Of course not. I swear to God, Sean, if there's anything more than... There's not. I'm just doing what my father wants. <laughs> I love to be on this good side for once. I see you got caught up with the Wicked Witch of the <laughs> Ridgeview. What's her deal, anyway? Daddy isn't around, mommy doesn't love her, and she throws credit cards just to get her own way. Nah. I'm just for her to go away. The usual upset rich girl stuff. Either way, she's a psychopath. I heard she spends a lot of time in North Philly. Why would she be spending time in North Philly? Mm -hmm. She sure did say she did my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Okay. Uh. Rumor has it she's hooking up with some guy in North Philly. I think she's cheating on side. I wouldn't doubt it. They're the world's most boring couple. Mm. You ready for another day in hell? Let's get it over it. Is everything okay, Dub? You haven't said two words to me all morning. Mm. Well, I didn't particularly like it, having your girlfriend jump down my throat with the second I got here. I'm really sorry about that. She's just trying to be friends with you. Get fast, hey. You know she isn't really the type of person I love spending time with. She's really not that bad. I mean, when you get to know her. Okay, clearly something else is going on. I'm trying to pay attention to the lecture, Sean. We don't all have trust funds waiting for us when we graduate. Alright, I knew that one hurt. The one thing rich kids hate being teased about is the fact that they're not hard workers. Don't get me wrong, most of them are hard workers. Not all of them want to live off their parents money but still would they still make those kind of comments very personal we'll take them uh -uh. didn't really care though I was still upset about the fact that Sean was trying to get me to trust him to be his friend just because his father didn't want to spy on me I was going to have to get over it eventually if I was ever going to find out why the habits were so interest interested in me I had some sick feelings that this was more complicated than me being a foster kid with a troubled past and I was going to get to the bottom of it. 
I was just ready to go. Uh, ready to forgive and forget. Just yet. I just wasn't ready to forget and forget. After school. So how was the second day? I'm going to have to wait for 20 minutes after all. So the students leave. Oh, am I going to have to wait for 20 minutes after all the students left every day? Probably. I always have some last minute things to finish up after class. Plus, I didn't think you would mind. You were the one that said you didn't want others knowing about your situation yet. I didn't think you want everyone to see you leaving with a teacher. Especially ones assigned so much homework. I should start taking the bus. That wouldn't have been an option today. Why is that? We have our first family meeting with Carol. You forgot all about that, didn't you? I just wanted to take a nap before work tonight. I still don't think it's the best idea for you to be working at the diner. I was just saying. Plus, after our last, after our conversation last night about you getting home late, I think a lesson would be good for us. Let me a session. Hop, Alice. Come on now. We don't have to be like. Well, we don't want to be like. All right. What do you stop? <laughs> this place seems cozy. This is a social service office where Kara worked. It's been I've been in and out of this building my whole life. Whenever a family kicked me out or I was busted for running away, I was sent straight here. Let's just say this place didn't have the happiest memories. I spent numerous nights on the couches in the lobby when Carol couldn't find me a place to stay. This place is my hell. Well, this in original prep. Hello, ladies. Mm, I haven't seen you two in forever. It's been two days, Carol. I was just making a joke. Duh. You know I like... You know I, I like you're always... You know like you're always doing me. Okay. Can we just get this over with? Follow me. I know it seems kind of silly to have a family session after, um, two days after meeting, but the first few days are always the hardest. So tell me about um, things that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Wait for us to talk. These have been going all right. We had a bit of an issue last night. Oh, God. This situation is only going to work if you're too completely honest with me. Dove has not been following the simple rules I set for her. Always tell me in the plus one. I mean, Dove has not been following the simple rule. You and I both agree that it would be best if Dove had some more guidance and structure in her life, and yet she repeatedly doesn't listen. You can't just expect me to be okay with the rules and structure when I've never had them in my whole life. Not even once. I never even had to answer to anybody. It's always been me all by myself. You can't just expect me to fall into mine just because you say so. I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect child, Rose. And if you can't handle that, then get rid of me. Everyone else has. She's angry. I'm doing an awful job already. It's only been two days. Dove isn't exactly the easiest kid. <laughs> she ha hasn't had the easiest time. The fact that she's even expressed that anger towards you is a great sign. Dove's always been one to shy away from feeling her emotions or from her feelings and emotions. Today she expressed anger. She felt something and I think that's because of you. I just feel like I'm already letting her down. You've done more for her in the last two days than her last foster homes and group homes combined. 
You said she was almost adopted once. What happened to them? Yes. Ah, yes, the Allen family. Let's just say things got too much for them to handle. Uh, let me assure you that Dove was not the problem. What happened? I think I'll, it would be better if you let Dove tell you when she's ready. You're going to do a great job, Rose. Just let her come to you. I'll do my best. You better get out of here. Knowing Dove, she's already gone. Mm. Carol was right. I was already gone. <laughs> To be continued. Alright, you guys. That was that, girl.